Welcome to a new update in which we are going to focus on Bitcoin shortly. Bitcoin is currently moving downwards again. I think it feels like a little bit of accumulation which is going on at this point. And we're going to focus on what the price action of Bitcoin is most likely going to do and which levels I'll be focused on if I want to purchase my Bitcoin. As I think that overall we are in the process of making that bottoming procedure which is very likely to end shortly as we are getting into October and October is going to be a period where usually the price action of Bitcoin is going to do really, really well. Now, when we're looking at the Bitcoin price action, we're going to focus on the higher time frames and the lower time frames. But before we continue, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel where you will be finding more information. Also check out our other social media channels where you can find even more information on the markets. Now, this video is sponsored by Bybit where you can get free money if you make an account through my affiliate. If you do that, you'll get 20 bucks for free if you deposit $100 and 40 bucks for free if you deposit $300. And additionally, you get a discount of 15% on the trading fees on the first two months. Now, when we're looking at the Bitcoin price action, I think this is quite clear and this is the uh, lower time frame price action of Bitcoin. We'll get to this in a little bit, but first I want to take a look at the price action of Bitcoin on the higher time frames which is still focused on a few important levels. So what do we see here? We see a case of the 200 week EMA resting as support beneath us. This is vital because the 200 EMA is an area that we need to provide support on in order to avoid a breakdown and in order to activate and continue the actual wool cycle. In that regard, we can see that this blue line is the 200 week EMA that we need to hold on to. We have been testing it a few times here. We produced a wick beneath it. We are uh, getting a green candle out of that and we are currently consolidating above it again. As long as we stay above the 200 week EMA, we most likely are going to continue to the upside and it starts to be very comparable to the period that we witnessed in 2015, 2016. In this case, we wicked beneath it, but we started to consolidate and start to trend up afterwards. So it's very likely to this period too, where slowly but surely the price starts to crawl and that we're going to have a case of uh, the upside in the markets overall. Um, this has also been happening in uh, 2016, uh, 2020 and 2018, where we started to crawl up while the expectations were that the price was still going to fall south from here. So I think we're still in the process of having that weakness here. And the weakness is most likely being in pushed there by the US dollar. And I think that the US dollar is also getting into an area where we are eager for a potential reversal. We've got some economic data coming up in this week and that economic data might be able to reverse the markets. But overall, as we can see here, the dollar has been breaking through the final level that I found in very important here, which would most likely mean that we're going to have some sort of downwards momentum, especially since we've got such a long and strong period of upside uh, where the dollar is up only. And a strong dollar is not really benefiting the price action of Bitcoin, which we know from an historical perspective. And also when we're looking at the two year yields, that's not really helping either, where we can see that we're currently still facing a continuation of the upwards trend, but we are also still creating a bearish divergence, which might be applied in the near future if we are going to top out. And that is the ultimate question. As right now, given the recent Fed dot plot, the expectations are that the interest rates will be higher for longer. And because they are expected to be higher for longer, it is expected to be continuing to the upside overall. And then if it continues to rally, and it's the same for the 10 year yield, if it continues to rally, um, we are looking at a case where we most likely are going to have an upwards trend here, but we are also in the uh, protective pro projected area of a potential bearish divergence on the monthly if we reverse during this month same goes for the weekly and if we do the reversal of the yields uh, will be going to be having a positive impact on the bitcoin price action 
Now, when we're looking at the Bitcoin price action on the lower time frames, we can see that we have been showing some sort of weakness. So we made this low here at 25K. We started to make a rally upwards, bounce at the area of 25.7, consolidation, which ended up going up again, another support resistance flip and a test at 27.2K, which we couldn't break through. Um, and by the fact that we couldn't break through 27.2K, we can see that we are having a bounce here from 26.4, or at least a retest taking place. Retest didn't provide strength as we have a 26.7 bearish rejection. We started to fall south again. We went to 26K and, and now we are having a bearish retest at 26.2. So ultimately, Bitcoin is into an area of consolidation here, which makes it very likely that we're going to have a retest here at 25.6 to 25.8K. If we are having a retest in that region, that is the zone where I want to start buying my entries because that retest is the ultimate retest, which we also have been seeing on assets like Chainlink, which broke up, retested six bucks and started to trend up from there. If that is going to be the case during this, uh, during this week, I think this is a very vital long entry zone. If we are not going to get that, the flip of 26.5, that is going to be the area where I think I want to activate my positions as well. And then we can start targeting 28K. And then we can also start targeting higher numbers, 30K plus or even more in the projection of Q4 going, that is going to be very positive overall. So these are the two zones that I'm looking at. It's a short update. I'll be back on Thursday with some macroeconomic news. Make sure to hit the like button. Ciao.